please select from the following options. I would like to learn how to make interactive YouTube videos. Or, I would rather see a video of your cat sleeping. Great! If you want to learn how to make interactive YouTube videos and see a video of my cat sleeping, you're in luck. The end of this video features the kernel asleep. With a little planning, making interactive videos is easy. The first step is to create the script for the video. What will be read in the video and where will the interactive element show up? You also need to plan what you want the video to do based upon the viewer's answer. I write it all up in a document ahead of time, just like this. Here's the script for the question I asked at the beginning of this video. And here are the words I'm reading right now. Meta. There are several tools that you can use to make YouTube videos more interactive. The first way is to use annotations. Click the annotations tab at the top of the YouTube page you wish to make interactive. From there, select add an annotation, then spotlight. This spotlight is going to be where your viewers will click to supply an answer. Choose the time in the video the spotlight appears and when it disappears. You should create as many spotlights in your segment as you have possible answers. Be sure to give your viewers enough time to actually answer the question. Select the link checkbox and then choose video. Here you can paste the link to any YouTube video, but for this exercise paste the link of the video you're currently editing. I'm going to have this spotlight linked to the end of the video featuring my cat. So I will choose 225. The other spotlight will link to earlier in the video. It will just jump to the point where the spotlight ends. That's it. You can see a more complicated version of this method using several different videos here. One note, annotations do not work when viewed on mobile devices. Click here to learn how to use the even simpler YouTube Questions Beta feature to make even easier annotations. Or click here to learn how to use YouTube and Google Sites to add interactivity that works on mobile devices. Now, as I promised, the kernel sleeping.